Hey YouTube family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and you're watching Faith by Design. Today we have a very special guest on my channel. I would like to introduce you to my daughter. Her name is Leilani and we will be doing a budget with me with her paycheck for the second paycheck in June. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, stick around, we'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted, before we get started, I wanted to say I hope everyone is having a great Friday. Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully this video does go up on Friday. And I just wanted to wish everyone a great restful weekend. Um, and I know that Father's Day weekend is coming up on Sunday. So happy Father's Day to all of the fathers. If there are any guys watching my channel, happy Father's Day. Um, so yeah. I wanted to also give a shout out to the BCL ladies for week four. We have All Things Kimberly, Budget with Crazy and Love, I Desire Wealth, and Budgeting to Freedom. I've enjoyed getting to watch all of their videos and get to know them better. It's been really great just to see how different people save, budget, and just the wonderful support that we're all getting for BCL is just is I can't even put it into words, it's indescribable. It's like I started my YouTube channel in, I believe it was March, and just the overwhelming support that I'm getting, let alone just the community itself showing up for these ladies, week after week has been so incredible. So thank you all so much. So if you have a chance, please check them out during this week, the rest of the week and, and beyond. Subscribe, you'll never know who you may find and fall in love with on their channel. And it may be something that's helpful to you that you can take from anyone. So thank you all so much. Thank you to Budgeting April again for starting this. It's been great. Um, my daughter here, her name is Leilani. She is ready to get this started so she can be on about her weekend. So she has a concert to go to. And so she's excited. And so I'm not gonna hold her too long, I promise. Okay, let's get started. So I wanted to also say that the reason why this fan, the reason why I started my channel was to give my daughters something to look back on as well as myself and my husband, um, even though, you know, he doesn't have a channel, but I do like to include my family as part of this process of becoming debt free, getting out of debt, learning how to save more, invest, and all of these things that we are learning on this channel or in this budgeting community. So I wanted to bring my kids involved in this journey so they can also learn from my mistakes as well as be great with budgeting and learning how to manage money very well so they can be successful. Okay, Leilani, go ahead. Tell us how much you got paid for this week and yeah. So this week I was paid $623 and some of the categories that I would like to spend my money on are clothes, Um, gifts, transportation, uh, payback, which is paying back the people that I owe, savings, and last but not least, my pillow fees. And for those who don't know the pillow fees, I thought this was so cute. I told her how I leave a buffer in my account just to account for anything that may come out that is, you know, we kind of lose track of what's coming out sometimes. And just to have a buffer, we go over on the other categories. And so when I told her that I usually have a cushion in my account, she put pillow fees, she renamed it pillow fee. So that's what that is. So for clothes, I budgeted out $215. For gifts, I budgeted out $130. For my transportation, I have $50. Payback would be about $60. Savings, I don't have a set amount. And then my pillow fees, I put $25 for any like subscriptions and Apple Music. Okay, so what we can do is you can add up um, what you have so far and then it'll give you the remaining amount that you have to work with 
and then you can figure out for savings how much you want to put to savings okay So 215 plus 130 plus 50 plus 60 and plus 25 is 480 is the total okay and then how much is left when you I have 143 remaining. So do you want to put the full amount to, how about giving as well? We forgot that category. Okay. Giving. So the, yeah. I have um, 143 remaining. Okay, so between those two savings and giving of the 143, how much do you want to put? So that's, it says $14 and so 10% of 143 is $14.30. Well, yeah, for the cent, I wouldn't really worry about because unless you want to. Or we could just round it up to 15. Yeah, sure. Okay, it could be $15. And then for savings, I want probably at least like $50. Okay, so then you'll have some more to work with. So you want to use that for something else or can you think of anything else that you forgot maybe no i'll probably just just keep it in there as a as a part of just, the pillow fee yeah i'll probably just join the pillow fees okay <laughs> so okay 143 minus 65 is 78 dollars wow okay so, do you want to put more to savings? Like, how much more? The whole thing? <laughs> Since you already have the pillow fee. Then, I mean, okay. it's up to you, but, I mean, I know you do. I what, just, what things do you want to save for? Um, Some things that I would like to save for is a phone and a car. Yeah, because you know that 100 envelope challenge that mom has been doing is going to help with the car. So... And because of inflation and the economy as a whole and the auto industry, things are really expensive for cars nowadays. So as much as we can save as possible would be ideal, I think, to avoid you know a huge car payment, if at all. So what do you think? Okay. I mean, I mean it doesn't have to be written in stone. It's all a budget is flexible. So you can budget for it and then say if you go over on another category, then you just you know, you have to just change the savings. Then I think I'll just put the 78 in the pillow fees just in case. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there's usually like a percentage for saving, for spending, but we'll get more into that as time goes on because, you know, I'm not sure if I actually can say I, I follow that hard rule, so... Okay, so let's check now to make sure everything adds up correctly. Okay. Okay, so this is the total for that. Okay, so let's add all these up to see if we actually equal 623 or close to it. I know it'd be probably off with the cents, but. Okay, 215 plus 130 plus 50, 60. Uh, fifty dollars for savings. One hundred three plus fifteen equals. Ooh okay. All right. So we have a zero base budget, guys. That's great. Um. So now what we'll do is actually enter it into every dollar. Add group at the bottom. Can you show them? Scroll all the way down. Yeah. Add group. Yes, to create a paycheck to paycheck budget since every dollar is more so uh, monthly. And so we did that already for the second paycheck. So what she's gonna do is enter everything to show you that it's a zero based budget.
Oh, and put your income at the top. And now we're saying you have 15 left to budget. Mm. 30, 50, 60, model dream. We'll just put it in savings. 65. Mm, you're right. 130, 130. 50, 60. Savings is 50. And your pool fees was 103. Oh, giving. Did you put giving? You didn't. Oh, giving was the $15. Yeah. yeah. So you got to add an item. And this is how you budget. Making sure everything adds up so you don't be confused. Okay, so it says it's an every dollar budget at the top. And yeah, we're all done. We really enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Leilani wanted to put her hands there too but yeah Leilani is there anything else you want to say to the viewers here have a happy Friday and thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe Yay! thank you okay bye guys I'll see you next time have a blessed week